here in the car with Linda and Collins. And we're sitting here driving. Oh, I'm videotaping on my camera. We're on the ride from Father Lawrence's residence to the center. We were at the center yesterday. There's a police car going to get somebody, attending to someone who's in need. This is just a look at some of what the streets look like on the way to in Kampala, on the way to the center which seems to be about five or six miles from where we're staying. Kampala's built on seven hills, right Collins? Seven hills? An interesting thing is we always think about taking the trash out every Tuesday night for Wednesday trash pickup. They don't have trash pickup. The people actually have to burn their trash, which is interesting because it always smells like somebody's got a fireplace going at night, especially, or it's kind of cool. It smells like people are grilling out or cooking out, ironically. It's pretty neat. A lot of motorcycles. What do they call them? They don't call them motorcycles, though. What do they call them? M motor? Motor bodas. Boda. No, please. Boda, boda. Oh, boda, boda. Got it. I want to put a motor in everything. Boda, bodas. They're all over the place. Abby, Grace, you would find this very interesting. Sam, I haven't met any basketball players yet. <laughs> This is one of the busier roads. The, this one is paved, so this is more of a major road, but a lot of the roads that we've been on are side roads, and they're all... Oh, another thing interesting, kids, we're driving on the left side of the road, not the right side of the road. I think I'll pause this right now. This is Daddy signing out. Hello. I think I stopped it. They have pigs at the center. They use the pigs as a source of income. There's one eating right there. What kind of tools do you use? The horse, Can you show me? Let's see. Here's some pigs right here. There's some baby pigs, too. Yeah, the pigs are cute. We had some, here's some younger pigs. Oh, you come and see this one. Oh. Very oh, young. Oh, the baby pigs. Oh, they no, used the pigs, they were a project with the pigs to raise money for the parish. Mm. And there's the mom. Let me get a good little look at her down there. Okay. We're back yeah, here in the pig know? area. Back that way is up towards the house. That's where the wards were. There's the back of one of the wards where the patients are. There's Linda and Sister Emmy are looking at the pigs. I'm going to go back up to the parish house. Oh, listen, listen to those pigs making a lot of noise up there. We got some loud pigs here. Who's making all the noise up here? You got making a lot of noise, Mr. Pig. No bacon for you today. See you later. And we're back heading up towards the parish. This is one of the wards. That's right there. It's where I was shaving. 
You see the razor up there shaving people. We bathed some people this morning. Hi. Hello. These are some of the patients here, some of the older. There's some younger ones. There's a few patients lounging around. It's about uh, lunchtime, 12 o'clock here. There's the church up there. And as we pan left, these are the main wards where the residents and the patients live. Right back in that area there, we had a beautiful welcome yesterday with singing and dancing. They made us feel very special. Let's come on up here. <clears throat> this was started by a renowned cardinal. I can't, his name escapes me right now, but that's his tomb right over there. Right there is where he's buried. Passed away in 1991. Became a cardinal in 1976, I believe. See, there's the convent. Tells you where everything is. The home, we showed you the wards. This is a man that can dance. He's got the moves, yeah. It's awesome. You're going to lead my exercise group. You're going to lead my exercise group. And here's the... Right there is back out to town. That's the front gate. And there's the church in there. They're praying, so I'm not going to mess with them. We ate dinner back there somewhere last night. There's some guys working. It's the equivalent of the landscaping crew. We're up on a hill. And let's. Go back towards the home. We don't want to burn up all the video and all the space on the card, but this is the road to Father Lawrence's house in the bingo. It's a very bumpy dirt road. Some new houses. Or so apparently they build homes in sections because it's very expensive to take a mortgage out in Uganda. So they'll build part of the house and then save up to construct the other part of the house. in the lower section. Not unlike an addition, although it takes much longer to complete. Some individuals. People are very industrious. They'll make things and sell things to try to earn a living. We spent the day at the, the Good Samaritan Sisters' home working. We have a lot of photos and some shots from there. Momentarily, we'll be at Father Lawrence's. Some local residents there, I think. Oh, we should have a little chocolate. Uh, we're coming down the road. Whoops. Right outside. And there's the front 
gate. Honking to get in. See you on the inside. Got my long lost friend Julie, who enjoyed my token of appreciation in the old, uh, what were they, trail mix bars, right? Yeah. We had trail mix bars. She, Julie's our tour guide. <laughs> <laughs> we're here at Father Lawrence's. That's the car we drove home in. A version of a Toyota Corolla with the steering wheel on the opposite side. And here we are. Father Lawrence's home. That's the main home that we're looking at right there. We'll come on in. Right over there where Julie is, that's the room I'm staying in right up there. Well, let's see where I'm staying first. Hi everybody. I'm awake today. I do have a personality. Look at, there's the corn. That's all corn drying out. And it sounds corny, but I know. Here's where we, here's where I'm staying. This is Tata's house. That's Father Lawrence's house. He so graciously donated a room. You can see, looks like a room I've lived in. Here we are. There's my bed. Mosquito net. You want to know what a mosquito net looks like? There it is. Okay. It's the bathroom. We're using. Put some light on. Yes, they have electricity. You have to use water. There's the water comes in from there. The shower is a shower head. It's very, very slow trickle. You want to conserve water. It's a small bathroom, but serves my needs. Come around here. Oh, that's to get the water from water, t water tanks too. We'll come into the main part of the house. Are they making fun of me? I don't know. <laughs> They're not soliciting more trail mix bars, I hope. Oh, it's come around to the main house. There we go. Here we are, main house. Lots of flip-flops. There's a living room. Modern technology and LG TV. Laptops. Those are rooms there where some of the other missionary folks are staying. Dave and Jean. And Glinda's staying somewhere back here. Here's where the kitchen is. They often have food and breakfast and dinner right there. Lots of clean dishes. Dawn, I don't even have to wash the dishes. I just put the dishes in the sink and someone else handles it. Sounds like I'm home. Plenty of water, Abby. I'm, I'm not going anywhere near stagnant water. I promise. So we have plenty of water to drink. Let's go out the back door. Here's where I sat and wrote my journal last night. And we're coming around back. No washing machines. Everything's hand washed. We're perfectly protected with barbed wire or some form of it. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> the question is, could I hold the camera steady? Oh, there's unshucked corn and shucked corn. Now, as a physical therapist, I see... Julie bending in that way, I think to my, or, wait, you're Julie, wait, you're confused, anyway, bend at the knees, not at the waist, okay, did my job as a physical, as a physical therapist, <laughs> Do you, oh, that's how I always wash my clothes, I don't wash a lot of clothes, I know. <laughs> That's, I'm a man. I can't help it. Wait, where's the water tower? I know there's a water tower around here. Where? There it is. There's where we get our water from. How often do they have to fill the water tower with water? There it is. There's the water tower. And we're back around the front. Alright, something tells me i got to put the camera down and start washing some laundry. You gonna put me to work? Here, who wants to hold the camera? 
It's on now. Be careful. Anything you say is going to go on Facebook. 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 Hey. <laughs> Hi, welcome to my home. Beautiful Nabingo, Kampala. Wait, Nabingo is part of Kampala? Yeah. Nabingo, Kampala, Uganda, Africa, world. Something like that. Universe. Anyway, see you later. Wait, are you looking down here or up here? <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Ah. Hey. Tremendous amount of contracture at the hamstrings, internal rotation, tone everywhere. Tried her in a chair this morning. She was scared to death. <laughs> and the more nervous and anxious she got, the more internal rotation she had at the hips due to the adductor tone. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? How are you doing today? Huh? Hello. I know. You having a good day? You see my hand? Yes. Yes. You're having a good day. Did you eat your lunch already? Huh? Here, look up. Come here. Yeah. You want to see my water bottle? Here. Let me take my hand away. Ooh. Here. You like that? Where are the noises? Do you like it? I wish I had one that was filled with water to give it to you. I don't have one with me. I'll give you one later, okay? Would you like a water bottle later? Would you? Huh? Huh? I'll give you one later? I know, you like... You like the sensation, I know you do. Oh, we could give you... If you came back to... I know, if you came back to me too with Matheny... We would give you lots of good toys and games you could play that you would just love. You would just love. I wish we could. I wish I could bring you back. I would put myself in the suitcase and give you my seat. I'll see you later. Okay? Bye-bye.
Bye bye. Can you say bye bye? I know you can't. That's okay. You're saying it in your special way. Are you saying bye bye? Say bye bye. I'm at a festival here in the capital of Uganda, Kampala. Oh, here comes another guy. Look at that. It seems the gist of this festival, as you see, there's a lot of booths and whatnot around. It seems like the gist of it is to promote a healthy and productive Uganda. There's booze over there about alcohol awareness and preventing drug and alcoholism. There's a booth over here, a youth foundation. The Uganda National Awards of Honor. It's a youth foundation for promoting education. So they're raising all money for good cause. Right there, you've got government support, community based feeding program. So it's good stuff. Any money spent here today, they've got entertainment, the money we put to, put to good use. You've got these, like, I don't even know what you call them. They're like gazelles. I mean, these guys are jumping high in the sky. There's Toy, and she's uh, a student doing an internship overseas in Uganda. And where is he? There's Dave. Dale and the Vice President of Change of Life Uganda. I'm hanging out with them over the weekend. Work at the center is done. Linda's on a safari. And uh, yours truly is here at a festival. So I'm kind of just chilling out on the weekend. I miss my family. Abby, Grace, Sam, Dawn. I love you. I miss you. I'm going to save some hard drive space. Love you, baby. Here we are, following the change of life. We're in downtown Kampala. This is more like a city. This is like downtown in the capital here. We're done at the festival and we're going to get something to uh, eat. I better catch up with my folks. There they are. We planted a banana tree. Here on the farm that Change of Life has sponsored for the students from the gym to come out once a year for two weeks and learn about farming. Thank you. This is the farm they built from nothing, all the pictures you've been seeing. That's Sam Chandler sneezing. You get to bring that on your carry-on. There's Collins. There's Frank, the driver. And there's Mr. and Mrs. President and uh, Presidente. Is that a goat? Yeah. The Chandler clan. Oh, sure. Jeff does it again. He hugs his kids, <laughs> reminding me once again that I miss mine. For me. It's all about ourselves. <laughs> Thank you. There's Torian. As you can tell, she's from Minnesota. As you can tell, she's from Minnesota. The accent. <laughs> and Minnesota dress. This is G Master Flash signing off. It's Monday afternoon, and I'm getting ready to bid myself farewell or bid adieu to the center here in Nalukalongo at the Good Samaritan Sisters Center. So I'll take one last pan around. Linda's coming back from her safari today. And there's, uh, there are no words to describe this woman right here. Amazing woman. Sister Immaculate. Immaculate is a good word for you. Immaculate means tremendous, stupendous, unbelievable, incredible. 
all the sisters here. Here we are together. Say hello. Hello. I gave I gave sister a little taste of what crazy hello. American men are like who make videos of their son's games and do play-by-play. -play. So anyway, we're saying goodbye. Let's do a quick pan around. There's the center. That ward this morning, we gave numerous massages. That ward today, over there houses my friends with paralysis. Mr. Thomas, Mr. Charles, Mr. Yeah. William. Over here, many other friends in this ward. My little friend that we, Linda taught to feed. That uh, girl, we have video of that on Linda's camera. Yeah, there's Frank, who has graciously driven us everywhere, and even after Linda went on the safari, he's here to take care of me and get me here today for one last rendezvous. I want to thank everybody. Oh, there's the church right there, and there's where the cardinals, the cardinal, God rest his soul. And uh, I just want to say it was great. And Naria, let's see if we can get a hug in. Bye here. bye. And uh, I learned a lot. It was, uh, as I say, a mind altering experience. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bye bye out there bye, in TV bye, land. Bye. This is Glenn Stackhouse reporting.